You will have to kill me too. Step back and shut your mouth. Who are you? A stupid boy. I'm Dick Ontali. My agent was, was talking to me and saying, uh, you're in a few episodes and then you're gonna die. I went, how do I die? <laughs> And uh, then she was like, well, it's kind of like a firing squad by a, by a dragon scenario. I was like, that sounds pretty cool. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take that. This war has already wiped one great house from the world. Don't let it happen again. Bend the knee. I will not. The thing is with Game of Thrones, I always think it's, it's how iconic your death is, you know, how memorable your death is, is a real key thing. So. If you're going to die, you want to know how you're going to die. And for me, that was a, it was actually a really big selling point of, of doing the job. Grace, if you stop beheading entire I'm families... I'm not beheading anyone. Your Grace. We shot it in, in various different parts because there was the stunt guys in to do the live fire stuff as much as I wanted to do it, but they said, no, we can't burn you alive. And yeah, we just pieced it all together. But me and James Faulkner, who played my dad on the show, yeah, we were were there right through to the end. Uh, we saw ourselves as a pile of ash on the floor. Lord Randall Tarly, Dick and Tarly. I, Daenerys of House Targaryen, first of my name, breaker of chains and mother of dragons, sentence you to die. Dickon had to make some kind of impact within a short amount of time. So I wanted people to feel like they really cared and they didn't want him to die because there was more about him to be shown and he didn't get the opportunity to see who he really was. And I wanted people to be intrigued by him. I wanted people to see what, what the future held for Dickon.